Special guest with us today, Sergeant Dylan Barnett. Can you tell us what led you to the Army, where you were in life, and what made you decide to take that path? I was came from a small town called Bay City, Texas. Out there, there's not really a whole lot to really do um, besides either as far as outside of high school, you're going to uh, chemical plants. There's multiple chemical plants out there, and usually anybody that graduated from Bay City usually went out there and worked out there. Unless you got out of Bay City and went out to a different city, a bigger city yeah. out there in the world, then you really were kind of stuck in one of those career fields. Um, that was kind of my goal when I was going through high school. You know, I didn't really think about the military going through high school. Um, I kind of went out and I was going towards college and that was my goal. I was working at two jobs while I was doing college at night. So I was working at a grass farm Monday through Friday and then I worked at a Dollar General on Saturday and Sunday. Mm -hmm. And then I did college on Mondays, Wednesdays and Fridays at night. Mm -hmm. Um, it was it was tough. Yeah, you know? that's a lot to put on a, any person's plate. Yeah, as a young individual, you you don't realize until you get out there into the world and, and after high school and see how how hard it is. And when you're working towards trying to be debt free, trying to pay off your student loans, and paying for college at the same time, it, it, it can be stressful. And uh, after the first year doing it, you kind of start to realize that it's just it, it wasn't fun for me. And I feel like I didn't have a life. And that's where I decided to look at the military. You know, I saw some commercials come up on the TV and uh, I talked to my parents about it. You know, no one in my family's ever served in the military. So mm. I was the first one to kind of start considering it. And so I was like, you know what, you know, why not? Why not go look at it and you know, go check it out? So I looked up the nearest recruiting office and uh, I just went out there and I, and I talked to uh, talked to an army recruiter and uh, he kind of, you know, led me in a path of like, hey, this is, you know, this is what we can do to set your life up and, you know, help you be successful. And as well as, you know, you could still get your college paid for and everything like that. So I decided to go for it and uh, I ended up joining as a, a 14 hotel, which is an air, early warning air defense artillery. And uh, pretty much I monitor everything flying in the sky from drones, helicopters, planes. And then I cipher through all that information to determine which is friendly and which is uh, which is hostile. OK. And you also actually have taken advantage of some of the benefits that the Army has offered. And you talked about you wanted to get your education. Talk about tell us a little bit about that story. Yeah. So as far as my education goes. So when I got in, I didn't jump back right into college. Um, I kind of waited a little bit of time just because I wanted to focus on my military career. It was something new to me and uh, I, w I wanted to I wanted to promote fast and and figure out how the army works in a sense so I ended up uh, focusing on the on my military career and then um, I, after I kind of got my way of you know how and understanding how the military works I kind of jumped back into college um, I started working towards a, crim a criminal justice degree wanted to get away from you know any chemical plants or anything like that so I started working on that <laughs> I started working on the uh, the criminal justice degree, and then um, a couple of years in, um, you know, I, or after I started to look at the military as a a long standpoint, I realized that why not reenlist? Why not stay in a little bit longer? Mm -hmm. You know, work on you know other things or work on bettering myself in a sense. And so I ended up um, I ended up reenlisting multiple times um, with that. Um, I started to think, why should I go for a criminal justice degree if I plan on staying in for possibly a full 20? Yeah. Um, I didn't want to be 40 years old and looking at going into the, the, the police force, um, mm -hmm. state trooper force. So that's why I kind of changed my changed my tempo. And, uh, you know, I stopped going to college for a while. Um, it wasn't until uh, a friend of mine. Um, it's, it's the crazy thing about being in the military is it's a brotherhood. It's, mm -hmm. it's family, you know, everybody around you, you know, treats you like family. Yeah. And, uh, you know, I, he, he was the one that kind of convinced me and say, Hey man, I mean, I get it. You know, you're not want to go into the criminal justice field, but why not, why not look at the business field, the business degree field, you mm -hmm. know, until, until you can figure out what you truly want to do, at least you can start working on your college credits and everything sure, like yeah. that. So um, I started going to, uh, I went back and started working on college again, started working on my credentials. And the awesome thing about it is when I applied back into college again, um, we have what's called a joint service transcripts. So when we, um, while we're going through our Army career, um, we go through all kinds of military schoolings um, and um, 
when we do apply for schooling, uh, college schooling, uh, we have what's called a joint service transcript. So we submit that to our college, and they will determine, based off of all the military education that we've done, um, how many college credits oh, that they will award us. Yeah, that's fantastic. Yeah. So I ended up, uh, when I applied, they gave me 57 college credits right off the rip without, you know, without... Boy, that's a year and a half of college. Yeah. That just pushes you right to the front of the line, basically. Yeah, it puts you almost to an associate's degree without even yeah. having to try. Yeah, yeah. So, um, you know, for me, I was, you know, impressed. I was like, this is awesome. You know, this will fast track me to being able to complete my degree faster. Um, so then I ended up changing once I figured out, though, what I really wanted to do after um after a little bit of time, I decided to go into the IT field, the networking field, mm -hmm. and uh, I've always, in, in my job, I, I deal with communications and different types of links, route, uh, routers. Um, I always like troubleshooting, yeah. and um, that's why I, I came into networking. I, I enjoy the challenge of troubleshooting and mm -hmm. trying to figure out that, that niche in the system of, where, of what's going on and yeah. how I can fix it. Well, it's kind of interesting, your path to the Army and where it's going to lead to for you. Uh, and I hear that story a lot. Like, it's taking advantage of all the opportunities that the Army has to offer. Correct, correct. Yeah. And also, you know, there's also other types of, like, not only the educational benefits, there's enlistment bonuses, there's also housing opportunities and so forth. So the Army does offer a lot of opportunities. And I think a lot of people can relate to your story, how, you know, when you're getting out of high school, a lot of people are just, you know, either they don't really know what they want to do, they might just start college. But you know, like we've heard from others also, you know, maybe that there's another path that might suit you better and lead you somewhere even further than you ever imagined you would go. Oh, yeah, there's always another path. Um, it just always depends on what you're trying to do with your life and your career. Um, being in the military, you know, it's not just, hey, if you don't go to college, then, hey, the military is the right thing for you. Um, 90 percent of people that join the military end up going to college anyways um, yeah. whether they're in the military or right after they get out of the military um so and then as well as with you know the joint service transcript people think that if, oh if i join the military i'm going to be slowed down on my degree field but you you know just from being awarded the 57 college credits that shows you that hey it yeah. doesn't really slow you down at all it actually kind of speeds you up yeah 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 well fantastic if someone wants to find out more about uh, the opportunities in the u.s army where can they go uh they so they can go to goarmy.com slash hawkeye or uh, goarmy.com in general or if they want to reach out to the local recruiting office so they have um, you can go on Google Google Maps, look, uh, look up the, the most local recruiting office near you, and reach out to a recruiter and uh, see where it goes from there. Yeah. By the way, GoArmy.com slash Hawkeye. That's a site that we set up with the Army. Use lowercase letters for Hawkeye and uh, see all the different opportunities. Uh, Sergeant Barnett, thank you very much for telling your story. I appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you for having us.